Yoda and welcome to Baha'i on Air. One thing that all of our Baha'i on Air viewers love, well in fact everybody loves, is music. And in this episode is all focusing on music. It's a documentary from the United States called the Embrace the World Tour. Music is such a great way to exemplify some of the teachings in the Baha'i writings about the unity of humankind. Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith, says that our world unity will look more like a garden with various flowers of various colors. It won't be us all being the same. And the same thing goes for music. One instrument, awesome, but an orchestra of all different timbres and strains and voices coming together, making that really full sound. That's what we believe world unity sounds and looks like. And that's what this group tried to put together. The leader of the Embrace the World Tour is Casey Porter. He's a Grammy Award winning producer. He's worked with Carlos Santana and Ricky Martin. But what he's done for Embrace the World has really reached to his behind passion and tried to promote world peace and world unity and harmony. And he's gathered musicians from quite diverse places like China, Iran, South America, to create this beautiful, global, cool fusion vibe. And as you'll see from the documentary, the audience went wild for it. So we hope you enjoy the Embrace the World Tour. There were so many tiny windows of opportunity that all had to open at the same time to get this group of artists on stage together. They'd come from China, Iran, Colombia, Scotland, Hungary, each bringing along their own distinct musical style. This was our final performance, our 22nd show in 27 days. When we gathered together for the first time five weeks ago, I'm sure each of us had hidden concerns and trepidations. But looking back now, there always seemed to be a guiding force behind everything we did. Collectively, we had a message. It was something that each of us, as individuals, strongly believed in. In a world still divided by race, religion, and class, we wanted to bring together culturally diverse types of music and prove that they can not only coexist, but that they can meld into a unique, beautiful creation. Our goal was to celebrate the oneness of humanity. By bringing artists from all corners of the globe together on stage, we hope that people, no matter what their race or background, would come together and rejoice in their commonality. Grabbing a group of people, completely diverse backgrounds, uh, different ages, very different personalities, uh, attempting to, to bring an entire show together of music that has never been brought together before. You know, a lot of stuff that has never been done before. Bringing instruments like arhu and, and uh, African drums together um, in a very short period of time, which brings a lot of inherent stress in and of itself. We packed everything we could into a tour bus. It would be our home for the next five weeks, traveling close to 5,000 miles. It's April 15th, and we're officially on the road, heading to Irvine, California, for our first show. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we welcome you to the Embrace the World concert tour. You know, to embrace the world means to embrace people of all cultures, all races, and all religions. This was the inspiration for this wonderful concert, which is the brainchild of Mr. Casey Porter, who is one of the artists here tonight, and he is also a three-time Grammy award-winning producer. Satisface todo por sobre todo. Ti Dios satisface todo por sobre todo. Y nada en los cielos satisface, nada en la tierra satisface sino Dios. Ti Dios satisface todo. Thank you very much. Let me introduce to you our musical family, Miguel Ocon. I'm Istvan, I'm from Hungary and live in Colombia. My elder son, David, is from Colombia and lives in Hungary. <laughs> My younger son, Chango, is from Colombia and lives in Austin, Texas. Yeah. My wife, Leonor Terry, she's a faithful soul. She's from Colombia and lives in Colombia. <laughs> Leonor's voice is the first thing people notice. She has extraordinary determination and compassion in her singing and it's made her one of the most recognizable female artists in Latin America. After listening to them play, I'm always intrigued by the dynamic relationship between Leonor's singing and Miyero Congo's distinct and multiple unique rhythms. Backed by master percussionist Istvan Deli, the group's Afro-Cuban rhythms complement lyrics taken from the Baha'i writings, many of which are hidden words of Baha'u'llah. We came here to share our message with you. Beyond entertaining you, of course, we have a message. The message is simple. Either we unite, we achieve unity in the world, or extinction. There have been several proposals for world unity. One is the entire kind of world unity where one nation or a group of nations or a race uh, wants to dominate the whole world. Another kind is uh, the one that says, one world, one passion, drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> Simplemente somos soldados y como soldados tenemos que obedecer. marchar, obedecer. We are simply soldiers in, in his heavenly army and the soldiers. We have to obey and march. Keep on marching.
would do a show in Reno, Nevada, and then head up the west coast towards Vancouver. After a couple days on the road, it became apparent to all of us that the physical journey encapsulated each of our lives. Each passing mile showed us new terrain, and like a new day, we had a choice in how we wanted to view each of those miles. KC through other musician friends. They have very different attitude towards life, music, the view of the world, very positive. I brought this instrument from China, and I'm in China too. <laughs> uh, I would like to have everybody repeat after me. This is a Chinese violin. It's called Ar Hu. Lin Cheng is one of China's most renowned and popular musicians. She's a superstar in her homeland, having sold over 25 million records. I think it's a couple of months ago, he called me up and told me all the details. And I said, okay, I'm there. I sent about three or four emails to Lynn and I said, are you sure you're ready for this? He may email me a couple of times. Are you sure? When are you gonna be here? This is a tour bus and you'll be on in bunks. It's kind of like being in the army. Are you prepared for this? And she said, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. When she was six years old, Lin's father gave her an arhu, a Chinese violin. Lin quickly learned the difficult two-stringed instrument and frequently incorporates the arhu's haunting cries into her music. If it's not to, to touch people's heart and to connect people's soul, it's a noise. <laughs> there are a lot of noises everywhere in the world. But music, music can really uh, bridge the distance between people and touch their hearts. I'm more inspired uh, now uh, because of this whole Embrace the World tour and all the wonderful musicians and the wonderful audience uh, gave me a lot of confidence that this is the way it should be. Yoda, if you've just joined us, you're watching Baha'i on Air. And in this episode, we're showing you a documentary called the Embrace the World Tour. And this is where a group of diverse musicians, really awesome musicians from China and Bulgaria and around the world have been gathered together by Grammy award-winning producer and composer Casey Porter. And they're touring with this beautiful global world fusion show. Music is really an important part of Baha'i life around the world and it's especially a great part of Baha'i community life here in Aotearoa, New Zealand.
have many great Baha'i musicians and they bring a lot of joy to Baha'i gatherings and get-togethers. Also, many Baha'i musicians are really touched by the writings of Baha'u'llah and their real powerful, beautiful words. And so many Baha'i artists and musicians here in Aotearoa as well, love to set those words to music. And um, it's a real passion for artists to have such beautiful spirit and ideas to work with. To lumen, oh Lord, the faces of thy servants, that they may be holy and cleanse their hearts that they may turn unto the court of thy heavenly favors and recognize him who is the manifestation of thyself and the day spring of thine essence. Verily, thou art the Lord of all worlds. And so now let's get back to our Embrace the World tour and enjoy our awesome global fusion vibes. Traveling south through the Rocky Mountains towards Salt Lake City brought snow and treacherous conditions, a far cry from the dry Nevada desert. We were now three weeks into the tour, having played 14 shows already. Hi, little boy, how are you? Are you okay? No. What's wrong? I'm crying. Why are you crying? What's wrong? I love you. Hi, Kate. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. We went to bed. Are you there? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Me? And this piece is very interesting because it, it, it covers all kind of styles and genres of music. So it's a very interesting piece that I thought that would be an appropriate uh, music for tonight. And I hope you like it. From the age of six, Farzad trained under Iranian virtuoso Ramatullah Badiyi. After graduating from the Conservatory of Music in Tehran, Farzad continued to study under top violinists Yuval Yaron, Franco Gulli, and James Buswell. Building on his strong following in the Mideast, U.S., and Europe, Farzad's recent album, Mirror of Emotions, has found a global audience that identifies with its tapestry of Western, South American, and Persian-influenced compositions. practical side of it. It's very easy to sit in our couches and homes and talk about unity of mankind and all that. But we are really practicing it, you know, from the whole experience in the bus, let's say. You know, this is, this is uh, we are putting everything that we have always believed in into practice right now. It is a battle, and I, and I hope that we, it doesn't stop at the end of this tour. Hopefully all of us as an individual in our career or family life will take that um, humility with us because I think it's a foundation of our character. And if we can build a, found, a character based on that, we will be a better human being. Oneness will happen, unity will happen if we put others before each other.
There's a powerful sense of transformation and renewal alive in New Zealand today. Families and individuals are uniting to bridge barriers of race and religion, rising above the forces of separation and conflict. Individual Baha'is and their communities are contributing to this momentum of hope. The Baha'i faith is still new to many people, but in just over 100 years, it's already transformed the lives and hearts of millions throughout the world. Baha'is are a true cross-section of humanity. Men and women of various religious, ethnic, social and economic backgrounds, striving to bring about universal peace and equality. Commitment and strength derive from faith in God. Spirituality is nurtured through the study of God's word in worship and prayer. Prayer is one of the foundations of Baha'i life. The teachings of all the world's great religions have enabled humankind over thousands of years to achieve spiritual and social progress. These universal truths are both a source of individual transformation and social development. Consort with all the peoples, kindreds and religions of the world with the utmost truthfulness, kindliness, goodwill and friendliness that ignorance, hate and rancor may vanish from the world and may give way to the light of unity. When we arrived in Scottsdale for the final performance, our spirits were high. <laughs> Over the past five weeks, the show had consistently improved. The distinct musical styles had given way to a more robust sound, and our individual idiosyncrasies were complementing each other. The band was playing as one. But instead of another show in another city to focus on, tomorrow we'd be stepping back into the world that we've been trying to change for the past five weeks. Would it be any different? From my viewpoint, yes. And that's how it seems to happen. One person at a time. enjoyed this episode of Baha'i on Air, where we've been watching this beautiful music documentary called The Embrace the World Tour, where Grammy Award winner Casey Porter put together this amazing group that featured artists from all over the world creating this be beautiful global vibe music. If you'd like to know any more about the Baha'i faith or the Baha'i teachings or Baha'i music or Baha'i CDs, you can look us up on the web. Because we have a few more minutes to spare, we're going to let you go with this beautiful song by another great Baha'i award-winning artist called Dan Seals. He's a great country artist and this is one of his beautiful songs about world peace called We Are One. What is prejudice? It's a wall that stops people from understanding each other. I always thought you were the best. I guess I always will. I always felt that we were blessed.
And I feel that way still Sometimes we took the hard road But we always saw it through If I had only one friend left I'd want it to be 